Hello folks, um, I'm back with another video. Um, this one is about um, how to match up your torque converter with uh, the gear ratio that you're running. Or, you know, it can go either way. I mean, how to pick your torque converter with an existing gear set. Or, what gear do you choose with an existing torque converter. Um, either way you can go. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit on the, the theory of operation with a torque converter. Um, if you, for instance, had a 2500 style torque converter, um, the lockup point is, you know, of course, rated at 2500. They don't lock up 100%, but they mostly do at that point. And below 2500, it allows more slippage. And the reason why you want to um, match up your gear ratio with your torque converter is that if you're driving on the street a lot, um, your cruising speed should be at least close to the uh, stall speed of the converter or else you can have excessive slippage and it generates a lot of heat in the transmission and um, you can compensate with that with more cooling to some extent but depending how far off it is you may not be able to keep it cool enough. So what you want to do is uh, have your gear ratio low enough so that let's say you you want to assume your cruising speed is 60 so you want to be able to go 60 at 2500 rpm in this instance and um, you can vary it a little bit one way or the other um, but you don't want to have cruising speed at like 1800 RPM with a 2500 converter. Another consideration is uh, the torque is torque input into the converter affects how much slippage as well and um, if you have a lower gear ratio higher numerically the amount of torque it takes to make the car go is is lower so you'll have less slippage with lower gear ratios let's say you have a pretty aggressive torque converter because there's less torque going through it at cruising it won't slip as much as say um, if you have tall gears and your cruising RPM is too low so that that affects it as well so what that means is uh, lower gears is always okay up to a point where you your RPMs are so high it's unmanageable but taller gears are sometimes bad because of the increased slippage so let's go on and figure out how to do this so the way that you that I'm going to show to do this is uh, I'm going to use Wallace Racing's uh, gear ratio calculators and uh, they have ones that where you put in the RPM you put in your your tire diameter, your speed, and uh, I'm going to go with converter slip of 5% because without a chassis dyno you don't really know what it is. So let's say you have a uh, cruising RPM of 2500 RPM. And uh, we're going to say the trans gear is 1 because you know you're, you're generally driving in third gear unless you have an overdrive. I'm going to go with 26 for the uh, tire diameter and I'm going to go speed of uh, 60 for cruising speed and a 5% converter slip. You hit calculate and this one here shows a, a gear ratio of 307. So um, you could, with 2500, have a 308 gear. Um, you probably don't want to if you're setting up for drag racing. But that tells you that you could get away with that. So but what happens if you go with a 3000 stall converter? You would be cruising speed 3000 RPM. Trans gear is one again. 
tire diameter 26 and speed 60 same 5% slippage the result of this is a gear ratio of 3.68 373 gears would work well with this combination so next in line if you uh, are going the opposite direction let's say your um, gear ratio is already set but you want to pick your torque converter you go to your uh, calculators here and what you find is you have different ones there's four different ones to choose from in this uh, particular page so I was using the gear calculator there but if you want to find the uh, RPM calculator which is the one that's going to tell you uh, what the torque converter stall speed might want to be and uh, that's the one over to the right side of the, the screen here so if you put in your uh, gear ratio let's say you know already that your gear ratio is 3.54 for instance that's a common gear ratio and trans gear of one which uh, it's meaning a ratio of one so that's third gear in most automatics we'll stick with a 26 inch tire to be consistent keep the mileage mile per hour at 60 and convert us so that we're going to leave at 5 and from there we're going to calculate that data we're going to come up with a result the result of that is your RPM is 2883 at uh, 60 miles per hour so that means you could use a stall speed of 2800 uh, you could probably go to 3,000. I mean, it, you know, it'd be a little bit higher than the uh, cruising RPM, but depending on the weight of the car, and what your tolerance is as far as the heat buildup, how good your cooling system is. But I would probably go with about a 2,500 for me. That would be my choice. But uh, as you can see, this is how you can go the other way with it to... Uh, determine you know which torque converter you want to pick out so you know there's um there's a mile per hour calculator and a tire size calculator here as well you can mess with those as you choose um, this is uh handy stuff to know and to find out when you're in the planning stage of your car so that you're not guessing um it, you know you're not necessarily going to follow what it says exactly but it's good to know it at any rate, um, I find that it's, it's useful. So there it is, folks. Thank you.